All right, fifth grade, this is lesson four, and this is all about metric conversions. So in class, I told you about the mnemonic to help you memorize the metric system, and it was King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Now, K stands for kilo, which means it's a thousand of your base units. H is hecto, which is a hundred of your base units. D, the capital D, is deca, which is 10 times your base units. B equals your base unit, which is equal to one. Little d is deci, which means it's a tenth of your base unit. C equals centi, which is a hundredth of your base unit. And M is milli, which is a thousandth of your base unit. And here is a little chart to help you figure this out. Now, if you're going from kilo to your base unit, you always need to move your decimal that direction, okay? So let's say I have a thousand, um, or one kilo, how many meters is that? I need to move my decimal place over each box. Let's say I'm going to centi and I wanna go to deca, you just move your decimal place to the left. So no matter where you are in this, it shows your decimal movement, okay? Your base will always be in meters. It will always be your base unit for this lesson. Here are the um, abbreviations for that. So if you see them in your homework, you know what they mean. KM is kilometer. HM is hectometer. DM is decameter. Remember, it's a capital D is the decameter. M is just a meter, it's one meter. Your little dm is a decimeter. Cm is your centimeter. And mm is your millimeter. So let's go over and do some questions in the book for you. So the equation that's given to you, or the, sorry, the conversion that is given to you right here is three meters to centimeters. So they gave me three meters, and I know that if I use this chart, I have my three right here, I need to go to centimeter. So my decimal is always at the end of a whole number, as you guys have remembered, and I go one, two spaces. So I have two little bunny hops there, so I know that I'm gonna put two zeros, so that it is 300. Now since there are two zeros, that's the same as multiplying by 10 to the second power. So let's do this one for you. I start with 105 centimeters and I am going two meters. So I have 105 right here in my centimeters, but I'm going this way. I'm going to the left and so is my decimal point. So I'm going to put the decimal point at the end because it is a whole number. And I'm going to move it one, two spaces. So go one, two bunny little hops. And my decimal point is now in between the one and the zero. So I'm going to say that 105 centimeters is equal to 1.05 or one and five hundredths of a meter. And that is going to look like 105. And since I went to the left, that is the division symbol. And I moved over two spaces. So that is 10 to the second, which equals 1.05 or 1 and 5 hundredths. And you guys will be given meter strips to help you out. So you will have things that look, turn to it, you will have things that look like this. You can easily count them over to try to figure this out. I will also give you a copy of this strip to help you with your decimal movements. I hope that helps you on your homework and good luck.